I come out of the woods. I'm gonna cook you some yard bird. Stay tuned, boys and girls. I'm gonna teach you how to grill chicken like a cowboy. Notoutofwoods.com. We're having a little polio on the grill. All right, I got a grill, mate. You can buy these at your local, uh, probably grocery store, any grocery store. I don't know where it comes from. The missus does the grocery shopping. This is by McCormick Grill Mates, okay? And uh, the recipe's on the back, secret recipe right there. I have a quarter cup of oil and two tablespoons of water. I'm gonna dump that in there like that. We got this bag, put the chicken in there earlier just to save time. And it says you need two tablespoons of white vinegar. There's a tablespoon. There's a tablespoon. Y'all notice I didn't measure that out. That is key to making this stuff phenomenal. All right, you gotta have vinegar, and that vinegar helps to break down the meat and makes it tender and juicy. See, I never like grilled chicken, especially boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's awful grilled because it dries out and people overcook it and yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on and on. But when you get some type, you don't even have to use this McCormick. You can make up your own. Key ingredient right here, white vinegar. Okay, that's what you want to use. And then uh, you need your little oil, a little water. You probably don't even have to measure that out. All right, now I'm gonna take my packet. This is Baja Citrus. It's pretty good stuff. And I'm just gonna pour it in here, like that. Y'all sit back and watch the action. Here's where you gotta give it a little shaky shaky. Make sure that bag's closed. But See all that marinade getting in there? We're gonna shake it out and rub it down. All right, I'm gonna get the air out of my bag. In about 45 minutes, this is gonna go on the grill. So I'm just gonna let it set out like this right here. And every few minutes, we're gonna come through the kitchen, flip it over. Another few minutes, come through the kitchen, flip it over. You just keep doing that while your grill's heating up. You can let this sit in here. I got a little more air in there, I need to get out. You can let this sit in there for probably about 30 to 40 minutes. If you go past 40 minutes, you're gonna be tasting a lot of vinegar in your chicken. So I'd probably keep it down to the 30 minute mark. I'm going right now to light the grill. And when I come back, we're gonna be putting this yard bird on the grill. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out here. We got the chicken on, cooking at about 350 degrees. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let you check this out. We on the Vision Grill. Look at here. Oh yeah. So, you saw the chicken, y'all stay tuned. Take 35, 40 minutes, 350 degrees. Internal temperature of your chicken around 160. I usually try to take it off when it's about 154, 50, 155. I'm about to put a little probe in there so I can check, keep a check on that temperature. I'll uh, check back with you here in a little bit. Hang tight. All right, y'all see I got six pieces down here of skinless, boneless chicken breast. We'll go in there, you see I got a probe. If you haven't got a probe when you're cooking chicken, you need to get one. We're at 60 degrees internal temperature. Internal temperature gets to about the 155 mark. One, less than 155, between 150 and 155. I'm gonna pull this chicken off. And I'm gonna take it in in a pan, cover it up with some aluminum foil. And folks, that stuff's gonna keep cooking. It's done, okay? That's one reason you have dry chicken. You're overcooking your chicken. So, Get a probe, get some type, you can get all kind of different uh, probes.
probes where you can check the temperature while you're cooking. Call me whatever you want to. It's the best thing for chicken, all right? And we're not talking about steak. We're not talking about pork here. We're talking about chicken, the yard bird, all right? And you get that temperature, like I said, around the 150, 155. Take it off, let it rest, cover it up in tinfoil. You're going to thank me, okay? So that's your redneck tip of the day. Get a probe. Get that thermometer on. It'll be delicious. We out. So we have 109. I just flipped it. Probably, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes into it. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Y'all hear old skeets out there? Old skeets don't like it when we go cooking chicken. No. He's our rooster. That's ready to come off, folks. We'll see y'all on the flip side. I'm fixing to go eat this chicken. 153. All right, folks. Look, I told you wrong. I said 165. I mean, I said 160. But it's supposed to be internal temperature 165. So I'll let it go just a few more minutes to about the 154, 155 range. I think we're going to be good, but because I don't want to get salmonella, I'm going to go ahead and check one. Let me get it right here. This is the biggest one right here. We're just going to, we're just going to cut that bad boy open right here and look down in there. Nobody wants salmonella. Look, you see that? That's done 100%. And the internal temperature is 150 five 155 all right so that's it that's a wrap for certain we'll see y'all on the flip side we out peace